Hi, this is DK and welcome to this quick video today. In this video, I am going to show you Thrive Content Builder and uh, how it integrates seamlessly with Genesis WordPress theme. So Thrive Content Builder Genesis theme, this, this question has been there for quite some time and people have been asking if Thrive Content Builder is compatible with Genesis theme and how effectively can that work. So I'm quickly going to show you some of the features of Thrive Content Builder and how it integrates with Genesis theme. Now you can see here, this is Thrive Content Builder that I have already installed on my blog. And this blog is running on Genesis theme. I'll show you, uh, I'll quickly show you how this uh, blog is and what is the theme that is there on this blog. Now this is the blog and you can see here, this is on the Genesis theme, okay? This is using the basic framework from Genesis. I have not used any uh, child themes here. It is the it is just the basic framework of Genesis theme. And I have installed Thrive Visual Editor uh, or Thrive Content Builder on this blog. And now I'll, I'm going to quickly show you how it works and how simple and easy it is. And why is it that I think uh, Thrive Content Builder is one of the best tools to have if you are in an internet marketer. So I'm going to create a new page out here. So I'll quickly create a new page. Now you can see here, this will be a new page. Okay, so here is the, uh, the WordPress editor. Now I'll just give it any name. Just give me, uh, let me give it a random name. Uh, for example, search engine optimization. Now this is a page that I'm going to create. So all I have to do is just enter the title or the sub, uh, name out here for the page and I click on save draft and that will go and save the page there as a draft. So once that is done, it is pretty, pretty simple to go about editing this page. I'll show you how simple it is. So all that you have to do is just click on this edit with Thrive Content Builder which is an option that you see here. Once you click that, it will open a new window and you are on the page where you can start editing. Now this is the basic page that uh, Genesis generates whenever I want to create a new page. Now I don't want to use this. I want to use a different page, a, a sales page or a landing page that is very specific to the offer that I'm going to promote. So what I can do is I can go here and select a landing page. Now these are of a few of the landing pages options that you have. Beautifully designed landing pages. You can select any one of these here and you can start off. These are all pre-made landing pages. Or else if you want to just start with a blank page, you can select a blank page out here. Now let me select this, this specific page out here and then we can uh, start editing once this page is loaded. So I'll show you how it works. So I click on load landing page and this should load this landing page there and you can see here so this specific beautiful landing page that you're seeing here running on genesis the theme the basic theme is that of genesis and it is on my blog and but you can see how different and how distinct this this uh, this page is looking now you can edit every other elements out here it's very simple just click and edit you can if you want to change this logo just click on this let me go this, I'll click this and I'll edit the logo out here. Let me change the image. I will pick my logo, select this logo, insert it here. And you see here my logo is there. The logo has been uploaded. You can click here, you can edit whatever you want. Just change this. Uh, any content that you want here, all that you need to do is just click on it and edit it. You have a ton of options to select, select change the the colors out here, I can change the color of the font to any one that, you, that I want, any one of those colors. You can go and bold it if you want. You can go and italicize it. You can underline it. Whatever you want, all of that is there. You can click this. You can select the, the background color out here. If you want a red color background, let us select a red background. And uh, so here it has changed. You can see that here. You can select the formatting. If you want, make it an H1 tag. You can make it an H1 tag. Or if you don't want to do that, just keep it as a paragraph tag. You can keep that as well. 
you have a ton of other options out here if you see here there is a more button that is added so that basically helps you uh, go about selecting uh, what else you want to do here so just click on it it'll it'll uh, go go away it can be deleted you can center this here you can uh, increase the font size to 22 if you want you can change the line height the margin and the padding you can pretty much do everything that you want with just clicking on the element and editing it now suppose you want to add something that is not there on this page you want to you know change something that is not there on this page for example i want to ins uh, you know add a button out here so let me go and click the button and i'll add that button out here you can see here the button has been added now let me just delete this i don't want this here so i delete this and i delete this now i want to center this here so what i'll do is i will center this i can select a color whichever color i want you have complete customization of option for this uh, this button you can do whatever you want with this button now if you want to use your own image you can use that as well so all that you need to do is just click on change image and you can upload any image you can change the size of this image if you want you can see here it is changing here you can change the image there now if i want to add the credit card buttons let me add that as well here the credit card buttons also are also there you can edit this if you want to change uh, instead of add to cart you want to mention text as get instant access all that you need to do is go here and change it to get instant access and your text is changed so it's that simple everything is just drag and drop and simple edit and you can generate beautiful landing pages using thrive content builder and in addition to all of that what you can what you also have an option to do is for example if if you want to uh, you know uh, set these uh, you know two two step uh, opt-in options where there is a button out here and then you want to uh, you know some you want somebody to click on that button and then there is a pop-up window that opens and in that pop-up window you want uh, you know uh, a, a, an opt-in form out there so you can also do that here just create an event for this one and you can set this to that specific event so that what that means is when you click on that button there will be an event that will happen and that basis on that event you know if you want that event to be a pop-up where you want to capture email addresses you can do that if you want that pop-up to uh, gather survey details you can also do that so whatever you want to do you can just time it using a, an event uh, for this specific element for this specific button so it is that simple and uh, you know you have a ton of options where you can edit anything that you want uh, you know on this page and customize it whichever way you want you can change the background of this let me just quickly show that as well uh, let me change the background color to black so your background color has been changed to black so you can pretty much do anything that you want on this page and design beautiful uh, landing pages using this one so let me quickly show you a landing page that i have designed uh, using thrive content builder and you can see how beautiful it looks and the best of all uh, this is on genesis theme so this specific landing page is uh, designed by Thrive Content Builder, but it is running on Genesis theme. So the basic theme for my blog has not changed. So you don't have to change anything on your blog and you can design beautiful little landing pages using Thrive Content Builder. So Thrive Content Builder is that simple and that easy to use. And uh, you know, you can also design a lot of uh, light boxes if you want. Light boxes are primarily pop-ups that uh, you know pop up on your uh, on on top of your blog if you want to capture email addresses you can do that as well and link a specific event to uh, to these light boxes so it's it's very simple to go about doing that and you also have an option of uploading different fonts and icons so that's all uh, something that is there with uh, thrive content builder now this is about editing pages now i'll quickly show you how to go about editing a post if you were to write a post 
Okay, so this is the WordPress editor here for a post. Let me quickly write. Okay, so this is a post that I'm going to write. I will save it as a draft. Okay, so the post is saved as a draft. Now I'll quickly get some content for this post. I'll pause the video, get the content, come here, and then I'll show you how about going, uh, how to go about uh, beautifying your blog posts. Okay, so I have some dummy content out here. I am pasting that content out here. And you can see that the content is pasted. Let me remove these links here because I don't want them. Okay, so this I have. Let me click on save draft. And once this is saved, then start some magic of Thrive Content Builder. And you'll simply be amazed with how easily and seamlessly this integrates into your WordPress blog. And uh, once you start using it, you will feel that without Thrive Content Builder installed on your blog, you know, uh, your, your blog actually lacked a lot of simple little features. So let me quickly show you. Now, this opens the post that I was on. Now you can see here, this is the exact same post as it would appear if I was not using Thrive Content Builder. Now I have an option of editing everything here using Thrive Content Builder. Now let me quickly show you that I want to uh, you know, add an image out here. So let me drag this image button out here. I can add a media. Just select the image. Let me select this one. Insert into post. You can see here the image is here. Okay. Now I want to add a two column content out here. Let me say it's a comparison of uh, something. So I will drag this here and drop it here. Now here is a two column content. You can write anything that you want. So now that is a two column content that you have there which otherwise was not possible if you were uh, you know doing if you wanted to do that on your normal WordPress editor. Now you have complete customization option for this here. You can add padding. Let me add a padding of uh, 10. So you have added padding for all of that here. Now you can change the color of this box if you want to orange. Okay, so that is the orange color. Let me change it to red. And you can change the color of the box here as well. Let me change that to red. So that's it. Change the font color to white. You can see here now your box, your content is ready and it's, it's in the form of a box out here. Okay, you can change the padding for this one as well if you want you can add uh, let me add 10 pixels to the left padding so that you can see here now it is looking beautiful here as well i'll add 10 and you can see here so you've added column based content onto your wordpress post now pretty much the same way you can add anything that you want you can add a code share if you want that can also be added to this uh, page out here. Let me show you how that is done. Let me show you how that is done. I'll drag that here. So now here you can insert any quote that you want so that it is it, it appears as a clickable, a tweetable uh, quote and all that people need to do is just click on this and that quote can be tweeted. Now that is one option. Similarly, you can add divider columns out, divider lines out here. If you want to add a divider out here, all that you need to do is just drag this line out here and it's there. So you can add symbols out there, icon boxes, number boxes. Uh, you can add different content templates if you want. And you can uh, you know, even insert content reveal. If you want, for example, a con specific content to reveal only after some time, you can do that as well. So let me quickly show you. Now this is the content. And you can edit it and you can set you know whatever option you want so that it reveals after a specific uh, after a specific time frame so it is that simple now you can see here it says reveal content after how many seconds or how many minutes so once you set that up what will happen is that content will only be revealed after that that uh, amount of time that you specified there 
so it is that simple similarly you can insert all of these options that you're seeing here you can even insert buttons if you want to uh, you know add buy now buttons you can insert the buttons also you can customize the buttons you can insert icons uh, ratings for example let me show you how you can see here the ratings are also there now this ratings is something that uh, you know people can uh, as in you, you can act basically if you're reviewing products and you want to uh, you know uh, show the rating to to your visitors so that people understand uh, what is the rating that you're giving that product you can insert these rating stars as well here so all of these options can be inserted into your post and your post will still normal be a normal post that you will create in your parent theme which is that of uh, genesis wordpress theme so thrive content builder integrates seamlessly with genesis wordpress theme and uh, you know if you are running your wordpress blog on genesis then i will recommend that you buy uh, thrive content builder today itself and uh, start uh, you know getting a lot more flexibility in creating your wordpress blogs so in the description box you will find a link to order thrive content builder if you like this review and if you think thrive content builder is something that you would want to try out uh, feel free to go ahead click the link in the description box below and order your copy of thrive content builder today itself and i'm sure you will enjoy using this plugin thank you for watching